I don't know why they didn't give me a way to fast travel back. That would have been nicer. Instead of having to go through those long hallways there. Because it makes sense going to the hallways from the left to right instead of right to left. Because the left to right builds tension because you're wondering what's going to be at the end of this long hallway. But once you know what it is, just give me a faster way to travel back. I don't know, maybe that's me just complaining. I feel like it would have been a nicer way of doing it. Because then there's no tension anymore. We already know what's to the left of us. So just make it so that we don't have to go and waste the time coming back. I don't know, maybe I'm just complaining. Oh, that was a little dizzying, but oh well. What does uh, the title say now? Or the hint? Oh, the music changed, did it? Maybe that's just in my head. Palace of Shadow Tower, okay. I thought it was the Puzzle Tower. <laughs> I know it's here though, I think you need to use a uh, flurry or something. Oh, here it is. Can't go this way, so I'm guessing it's right there. Kind of wish they used Flurry's Wind for different mechanics. Like maybe some sort of turbine thing, or maybe use it as to like some sort of motorized thing. But <laughs> her ability doesn't really get utilized all too much. I really couldn't think of any interesting ideas for her. I mean, for most of the parties, their, abil their abilities aren't really utilized all that much. This one's kind of lame. It's just go through the wall. At least they have this effect. They didn't have this before. It's just go through the wall and it'll kind of lame. I kind of like this puzzle, it's interesting, because there's another puzzle similar to this. Can't break those. Which you could in the original game, but now you can't. Because they weaken hammers in this game. Could you use Bobbery for this, I wonder? Nah. He's just too small. Yeah, there's a room above that's the same puzzle. But they're, like, kind of linked. I think they changed the way that puzzle was awarded in the original. Like he did the same thing, but the way that it was did to note what this what this question block was, and the one over here, I think it was different. Now that's all the puzzles in air quotes on this floor that I can do.
guess I'll do this next. I don't. I think I have to go down and up one more time. Uh, this one, I think you have to defeat him from weakest to strongest. I gotta run away from this fight. Yeah, I gotta do the dry bones first. Then the red bones, and then the uh, the dry red bones. And then I oh, know dull bones. That's what I'm thinking. First ones are called dull bones, then red bones, then dry bones, and then the dark bones. Yeah, because these guys are dull bones. Or dry bones. My god. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a stroke. Also, that fire looked a lot more intense. Also, I haven't seen uh, freaking return postage get any usage, which is pretty lame. Especially considering how expensive that NBP that badge is. Oh, that was FP. Whoopsie. Sorry, little puny. And I think if you mess up, you could just leave the room. I don't have to worry too much about failing this puzzle. I think there's one where you need to use Vivian and just <laughs> use Veil and that's it. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, so is that block just there and then it becomes visible when you do it? I thought it becomes like it spawns in when you do it. D spawns when after some time. I think this one you need to bomb it. Yeah. Yep, no use of coops or Yoshi at all. I didn't know I could interrupt it like that. They could have had much better puzzles here. 
Could have made them like logic puzzles or something. But nope. It's nice you can actually fall down the the stairs like that. Because you couldn't do that in the original. I do like how they power down when you beat them. It's good to let you know which ones you still need to do. Don't think they did that in the original, but definitely saves from the headache of just trying to figure out which one is left. All right, well, that's all eight keys. to do these for all of them, aren't I? Aw, oh, man. That'd be cool if you gave one to each of your partners and they all put it in at the same time. That'd be kind of cool. Like a little cutscene of it. I think what would have been cooler is like, how many partners do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'd be cool if like each one was a puzzle with your partner and then the last one was a puzzle with just Mario. And then so when you do these uh, key part here, each of the partners takes the key and then you get the key. You guys all turn them at the same time. I think that would have been a little bit cooler. Kind of made that cooler, I guess. <laughs> Mario's flying. He doesn't need no uh, super cave, he can just fly by himself now. That'd be pretty cool if they had more Mario items in this game, like Super Cape. And then maybe some of the other power-ups he gets. I feel like that's something they would do now if they made another Paper Mario game. It's just... They tend to keep it more Mario-focused, like... Uh, Color Splash and... Uh, what was the newest one? Origami King? Because they want to keep the brand as Mario and not these new things. Like 64 and Thousand Year Door and Super Paper Mario did where they just kind of went their own way. I understand why they did it. I don't agree with why they did that choice for Paper Mario games. Hopefully they see the with the success of this game, I don't know how well it's going to do financially. Hopefully enough to make them reconsider their decisions on keeping Paper Mario so plain. In terms of character design, I, I still think the Paper Mario games still have that like humor and charm. But like game, gameplay wise, eh, it's, it's hit or miss. For the newer ones, I mean, I think the first two are good. Super Paper Mario is interesting if you like that platforming style. I think it's okay, but 
I do prefer the battle system of these two games. So frankly, what the fuck? What? I called it right. Freak in the sheet though, I like that. Sort of lovelies. Does she not like Marilyn? I can understand Duplis she doesn't like, but... Why did they need to teleport? <laughs> They're like a couple of feet in front of me. They didn't need to do that. Alright. I gotta be careful of this fight. These guys can get a little crazy if you don't take them seriously. Duplis no, but the other two can be an issue. Do I need to title these guys again? I do! That's interesting. Okay, well that's different. Does that mean I need to title Bowser again? I mean, they are technically different, different versions of them since the last time we fought them. I'll take her out first. Because she can actually give uh, various statuses. I think she can apply slow to you. And uh, she can make her apply fast onto other uh, of her team members. Oh, well, got to see that work finally. Maybe I should have Mario in front. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, let's switch Mario to the front. Um, kind of want to see what they can do. I could kill Beldum, but I also want to see her apply the statuses too. Who's he gonna copy, Goombella or me? He can copy me again. Is he gonna have the same color though? Or is it gonna be red Mario? The same color, cool. Take that, Duplus. Oh no, she slowed Goombella. Aw, oh, dang, I need the tattle too. Uh. Well, let's get rid of her then. Wanted to see her apply fast, but also don't want this to be an annoying fight. Oh no, they got fog. Wait, can't I use Sweet Treat to get rid of the status? Oh, shoot, she can charge for longer? Oh, let's see. I've never tried sweet treating this. Looks like it does, that's cool. Gotta be careful because if uh, Marilyn attacks me, that's 21 damage, I think. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Man, poor Dupless. Oh, dang. That would have been kind of cool if it hit Mario, though, because the, all that damage back at Marilyn? Oh my gosh. That would have been crazy. Okay, we're gonna need a uh, Flurry. Um, I'll have... Yeah, we're gonna need Flurry first. Get rid of this. Okay, now Fog's gone. I don't really care about it working. It shouldn't work anyways, because they're... Special encounters. I wonder if Duplos can do this. Oh, he's gonna copy Flurry now, that's cool. I thought he just stayed as one person the entire fight. I wonder if he can do Lip Lock. <laughs> Duplos is never gonna get a hit in, is he? I like Marilyn, she can. I want um, Flurry to beat Flurry, so I'm just gonna hammer him. Make sure you get Fire Drive. Now it should be enough for her to beat this Faker. Oh no! <laughs> the water coming in clutch for Marilyn. And this audience just really wants to throw stuff, don't they? Oh, you know what? I forgot to get Merle's curse. Oh, well. <laughs> I can, yes, I think this can be it. Well, or raw three shadows. I wonder how many tattles I'm missing. I know one for Shadow Queen, but I don't know if there's any other. Oh, Bowser. Um, what's her name? Kamek. There is uh, Grotus. It's like five, right? Still missing eight. Wonder what this one is. Hmm. Oh, that looks very weird. Oh, the music here is pretty cool, though. I think I'll just use Art Attack for this. Cause I'm all out of SP. I need to heal it after this fight. And this is my favorite part of the Palace of Shadows. What? <laughs> Holy shit. A power plus badge. Holy cow. I was not expecting to see that. <laughs> okay, uh, let me heal up my... That's fine. I think I will use a mushroom crepe. Who needs it? I guess I'll use it on Goomba, I guess. She needs some healing. Fire drive enough? I think it might be enough. We just need Flurry to attack the back. I think she has enough damage to 
because they have defense, but it should be enough to get the KO. Yeah, definitely enough. I think now might be a good time to bring back a uh, bump attack. If I'm going to do that, let's get rid of fire drive. So the reason I like this area a lot is because it utilizes all the partner's abilities, which, you know, not really done that all that much in this game. So that's why I really appreciate this. Kind of wish there were more puzzles like this in the game, but eh. Can't be too choosy about it. I think one one thing that could have been really cool is to let them use their abilities in jit more than just left and right directions. Like let, let Yoshi use uh, flutter jump um, forward and back. At least just those four directions because Mario's hammer Although there's really no reason or utility of doing it diagonally, you can do it diagonally. You can also do it front and back as well. Also, I think this is a Cooper one. So I need to hit it and time it right. Okay. It won't come back to this area till a little bit later. I have the room for this. If not, I'll just toss it. I don't think there's anything hidden here. There are some fights on the bottom, but we'll get rid of them with bump attack. I think this part, you just go here and it's like a punishment kind of thing because you need to go back into tube mode. Oh, this doesn't count as a weak foe. Thought it would for some reason. I mean, they do give you a decent amount of experience. So maybe their level is still at a point where they're not considered weak enemies. Oh, it takes you out of paper mode. I guess that kind of makes sense. So you can put the green one down, wherever that green one is. I think it's in the room to the left. Also interesting that they bring back these uh, puzzle blocks. Now you see in chapter one to here, and you never see them in any other instance ever again. Oh. That's it. I always thought there was something above, but from last time I played this, there wasn't really anything there. Is the music getting quieter? I thought something like it was going to lead into a different version of the song, but even going crazy and thinking it's getting quieter. Oh, these guys still give XP, I guess. It's a nice little background. Oh, I messed it up. I guess we can call one. It's probably gonna clone this turn.
I'm just gonna swap to Vivian. Let her... Oh, if I had FP. Let's go for her sweet feast. It was a really good uh, sweet feast. There's those two poison shrooms at the end, but otherwise, it's not too bad. My only gripe with sweet feast is it costs way too much SP. It's ridiculous. on using one of these again, but uh, I'll get rid of Ice Storm, I guess. I need to be using those items more. I think I'm supposed to use Bobbery here. Maybe if... Uh, okay. So I think I can get this guy to die by attacking me. I think I'll just have Bobbery appeal. Actually, you know what? I thought I wanted to use those items more. Let's use a uh, HP drain on this guy. And that chain shop's gonna die if it hits Mario. So it's one. Actually, it's probably easier if I remember which one's not to light up. So two, five, seven. Koops just falls down. I like to imagine him hanging on. He gives Mario the key. He's like, <laughs> Mario's like, thank you, you can go now. And then he just <laughs> lets go and falls off the platform. It's gonna be a life shroom. I think this was a life shroom in the original. Oh, they changed it to a power punch. If I didn't have room, I was gonna toss that. I think you can use this. You can also do tube mode, I guess. It was this, this, this. <laughs> Whoops. So two, five, and seven, I think, were unlit. So I just gotta make sure that's the same. Three, four, and this one. There you go. I don't think it showed this part. I think it showed like the gears moving in the background, but not that specific platform. That way they spell it out a lot easier.
I feel like how the music's getting intense now. I mean, as it should, it's the final area. I think there's a block on top of this. It used to be a live stream, but who knows now. Changed a lot of stuff. It still is a live stream, okay. I'm gonna toss that extra power punch. Point swap can be tempting. Could be used as a healing move, I guess. I'll get rid of stopwatch. I don't really need it. I already got clock out anyways. Oops. I thought it was a little bit more on the line, or I thought I wasn't going to fall from that. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I am so bad at <laughs> the more precise platforming. If I remember correctly, in that room there's a shooting star and a life shroom. Oh, this is the Yoshi one. He hit me, huh? I don't know if Flurry has enough damage to get past three damage. But with Lip Lock, we will. Okay, let's use a uh, Ice Storm. This should uh, finish the fight. I oh, know she does six damage on these guys. That's right. Yeah, the music is definitely better now as it gets more intense and closer to the end of the chapter. Okay, so I think we need to use Yoshi here. He'll probably tell me. Okay. Do I need those? I already got tons of live streams already and the shooting stars. I could probably pick up the shooting star. Because I just used an item, right? Maybe I'll get that at least. Oh. Mm. You know, forget it. Who cares? <laughs> The six damage, anyways. A fire flower. <laughs> Why give me that? 
This is so not needed. All right. Oh, see, Ultra Shroom. I was expecting Jam and Jelly and Ultra Shroom. Get rid of this Fire Flower. I don't need this. Jam and Jelly? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why was the Fire Flower there? That is so weird. I'll get rid of one of these boost sheets. All the boost sheets are pretty powerful. Mm. You know what? Let's get rid of... Get rid of Thunder Rage, I guess. 